Hello Taurus, thank you so much for joining me again. And thank you to all my Taurus friends out there for commenting. I love you guys and I appreciate your support. And this week Taurus from Lay Vampire you pulled Free Will, Sovereignty, Independence and Free Spirit. And then from Chakra Wisdom you pulled Gratitude. Beautiful cards Taurus, beautiful. Free Will, this is about activating your ability to say yes and no without guilt and without fear so that you can act upon your own free will. And this is also about reminding yourself of your own dreams and desires. And then when you look at that with gratitude, it's perfect. It's beautiful. The inspiration here says that gratitude rises our vibration to a higher level. If you are unhappy in any relationship, this card reminds you that it is always in your power to change it. There is no mystery to being a good person. Good people just do good things. Gratitude is so important. What I love the most is the story behind this card. This woman here wrote a letter to her best friend's baby telling her how much she loved and appreciated her friend and how happy she was for her. It is so important to have gratitude in our heart. The key ideas for this one are friendship, deep love, nurturing, unconditional love towards self and others. And then there's also pregnancy here. So for some of you who have babies or are having babies, congratulations. But gratitude is beautiful. And what's even more beautiful about the two is that you're using your own free will to be grateful for the things that you have in your life and the people. All right, Taurus, here we go. Here's the energy coming through. The four swords so some of you needing to take a break take a rest do some healing the four swords coming out of the three is really talking about being done with battles taking a break taking a rest finding that oasis there's reflection here too because when you look at the swords you know you have the whole mental thought and communication happening here but this is suggesting that you're not really you're doing more thinking than you are communicating right now but i'd like to see this as you just finding some you time to do some meditating and in the past the, t <laughs> the ten of pentacles yeah we know we know right like this is consistent with you you have a strong foundation and maybe for some of you, it's time to take a vacation or a staycation, right? Enjoy the home. But again, you know, ten, the Ten of Pentacles and looking at gratitude, family, family, maybe a new birth, spending some time with a baby. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I just, I, I feel like I'm getting that feeling of, you know, after having my boys and just staying at home with them and relaxing and chilling out. But anyway, the Ten of Pentacles is the past coming through. Strong foundation, financial security, stability in your life. It's consistent. It is so consistent with you. And, and there's clarity. Look at that shit. In present conditions, the Ace of Swords, it's perfect. It's perfect with the Four of Swords sitting there. Because if you're thinking about shit, you're clear. You are clear in your thinking. You have clarity. This is seeing the truth, speaking the truth new fresh ideas but clarity and truth it's beautiful like i don't want to turn over anything else it's fantastic taurus oh look at that and i'm telling you i'm telling you taurus for some of you if you are having babies or your friends are having babies congratulations <laughs> it's a time to enjoy that beauty in your life the Empress, when you're looking at it with the Ace of Swords, though, you know, she is about giving birth to these new ideas, right? There's abundance here and beauty and comfort. It's that nurturing feeling, that mother figure. And again, babies, babies. I think for some of you, that's going to be important. Whether you're having babies, your friends are having babies, or your kids are having babies, whatever it is, there's babies, babies, babies. <laughs> But beautiful energy, especially with the Ten of Pentacles. To me, it's a, it, it's saying that there is comfort. There is comfort in your home and in your life right now and beauty surrounding you and clarity. And hell yeah, I would be wanting to stay home and enjoy all that stuff too. You know, with that Four of Swords. 
your best path to follow the Page of Swords. Now, when you're looking at the Page of Swords as the best path to follow, I rarely see this. It's nice to see this and, you know, the positive here. Usually the Page of Swords is the messenger that brings conflict to you. These are the legal documents that you don't want to deal with. It's the gossip you don't want to hear. It's just bad messages coming through. The positive part about this, though, is that whatever you may be dealing with that, you know, may be conflicting to all the enjoyment that you're having, it's talking about being able to deal with these things with intelligence and grace. The other part is, too, if you're looking at the Ace of Swords and the Page of Swords, when you look at this as like the way that you're thinking it's really talking about you asking questions it reminds me of the child you know that asks why is the grass green why is the sky blue right it's being inquisitive and for some of you this may actually represent the child and it may be an air sign but there's truth here there isn't lies happening i just think that for some of you when it comes to you know speaking your truth it's saying to do it in a way that is it's like you need to ask questions if you're wanting clarity in a situation there's a need here to ask questions but again you know for some of you this may be the child here right i don't know why taurus why somebody explain to me why babies seem to be so important and i know this doesn't apply to me because I, I, my, my youngest is 14. I can't have any more kids. So as far as my rising sign, this is not resonating other than having a nice, comfortable home and wanting to stay home and not do shit. That's definitely me. <laughs> but I really do think that for some of you babies, babies, but the page of swords being here, no matter what you're dealing with, all of this is fantastic. I just think that you need to ask questions and think about the way that you're communicating because what you're wanting is truth and you will have truth in your environment the ten of wands so some of you may be a little overwhelmed with everything that's going on <laughs> and if you are getting messages that you don't want to deal with whether they're like legal documents and things like that you need to be clear on your thinking you need to ask questions before you're signing anything so that you understand what you're looking at the Ten of Wands, though, being in your environment is suggesting that you've got a lot going on. You've got a lot going on, and it's no wonder why that Four of Swords is sitting there. Because I'd be like, fuck it, I need a break. This is saying that, you know, you, you're overwhelmed with so many different things going on. But it's not, I'm not seeing it as a bad thing. And then again, with the Ten, it's like, this is the end of a cycle here. And you're still carrying that Ten of Pentacles that seems to be persistent with you. You know, and even if that's the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one, you're looking at the Ace of Swords. And even if you're not, the Ten goes into the Ace of Pentacles, right? Beautiful either way. You're fine. You're doing just fine. It's just that you may have a lot on your plate right now, especially if there are babies. <laughs> and I could be way off on that, but I think for some of you, babies are involved. And it may not be you. It may be your friends or people in your family. <clears throat> but beautiful it's beautiful just don't allow yourself to get overwhelmed it's almost like you get blindsided you got all this great stuff going on you're wanting to relax and chill out and then this person shows up like oh hey you've got this stuff to deal with and you're like shit <laughs> it's one too many start delegating start delegating out tasks to people around you if you have people around you if you have a good strong family ask them to start helping so that you're not carrying the entire load here. Your hopes and your fears, the Four of Pentacles. You're wanting to hang on to all the good things. Uh, that's, that's how I'm seeing this. Because there is nothing here that you need to let go of other than carrying so much. The Four of Pentacles is, you know, it, it's not really wanting to give up what you have. And I wouldn't want to give up any of this either. No way. Hell no. But... You know, there's the maintaining the status quo, too. It's suggesting that there is financial security. It's just you're not willing to share anything. But I think it's you hanging on to all the good things happening in your life. Because Taurus, this is fantastic. Fantastic. Just start learning how to delegate. 
if you've got so much going on right now that you're feeling overwhelmed and you're needing like a break, you don't want to just drop everything and let it fall to the wayside, take advantage of the family that you have around you and say, hey, I need your help. Please do this so that you're not caring so much, you know, and let go of control. Damn it. <laughs> you don't need to control everything that's happening. It's funny because I really need to take my own advice there, but <laughs> I really do think that for Taurus, you guys are doing beautiful, beautiful. And the Empress too, right? Venus, that's your planet. Enjoy the beauty that's in your life and the stability you have and the truth and clarity that you're saying too, even through conflict. And then the outcome, victory. <laughs> I love it. I love it. The Six of Wands is the outcome. This to me is saying that when you look at this coming out of the five of wands, you are getting victory over opposition. This is a, a feeling of completing something, not fully here, like, but starting to see some stability. There is, you know, that feeling of success here too. You know, the six of wands warns that it's short lived, that there's still more to do here, but seeing that as the outcome is fantastic. It's fantastic. Whatever opposition that you face, if that's the warning here with the page of swords, it's not going to be an issue for you. You're going to overcome it. But I think the important thing is here is for you to let go of control a little bit and ask for some help when it comes to dealing with so much, you know, because this reading to me is suggesting that you've got some strong family around you. Family, friends, but beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, Taurus, we're going to take a look at soul trees to see what other messages there are for you guys. But yeah, I would, after getting, you know, these things under control here where you start delegating stuff out and you're not feeling overwhelmed, give yourself a break. Unique gifts. Yeah, you're, you're going to get a unique gift. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, unique gifts though are really talk. This card is really talking about, you know, your ability to deal with situations that may be, you know, problematic here, right? But this is really about getting in touch with your own unique gifts and you're doing some healing. Absolutely. Believe, believe that the universe is working in your favor. Believe that, you know, beautiful things are coming into your life with that Empress. Absolutely. Belief is such a powerful thing. And when we start to shift it on positive, you know, I mean, here's my disclaimer with this. You can't go around thinking positive all the time and expect wonderful shit to happen because the negative and the hard things that we deal with have their place. We need to experience those things so we can truly appreciate the beauty that is happening in our lives. But believe that your life is beautiful because it is. And that's what you will start to see. You know, we may hit some hiccups on the way here, but you know, it's not anything you can't overcome. Beautiful. It's beautiful, Taurus. It's beautiful. I love it. All right. We're going to take a look at the romance angels to see what's going on with love. Oh, shit. It just, it blows me away sometimes. <laughs> children. Your love life is being affected by children. <laughs> now, for some of you, this is talking about you having kids or the other person having kids and, you know, that having to play a part within the relationship. If you're single and you have children, a lot of times, you know, it, it takes us a minute to really feel out when is the right time to introduce our children to this new person. And they may be going through the same thing too, right? But I'm not seeing this as like hell raising children that are causing you issues or anything like that. <laughs> but children are a factor right now. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. And it's important, especially if children are involved. For those of you who are in a relationship and you are happy, if you are having issues with your partner in regards to the children, right? You want to talk about that. If it has to do with you wanting children or the other person wanting children, whatever it is, honesty is going to be the best thing here when it comes to the way that you're feeling about that. And I just feel like children seem to be the big thing here with this reading. But 
you know, it, it's important regardless to have those conversations. Truth, truth, speaking your truth, being clear, right? But overall, Taurus, beautiful. It is a beautiful reading. I love it. All right, Taurus, I'm telling you, babies, there are babies somewhere for some of you. I know I'm connecting with somebody here because you got <laughs> children, gratitude, and the empress, all of them, babies, babies, children, right? It's fantastic. It's beautiful. For those of you who are not dealing with that, your lives are fantastic right now. It is beautiful to see. There is truth and clarity for you. You're doing some healing. There's a strong foundation. You're seeing the beauty that's surrounding you. I love it when the Empress shows up for Taurus. It's perfect. It's perfect. Whatever difficulties you are dealing with, when it comes to the Page of Swords and then the Ten of Wands, I've always seen the Page of Swords as the messenger of conflict. So to me, showing up as your best path to follow and then seeing the Ten of Wands next to it, I, I, and then again, looking at free will, right? There's a need here for you to start delegating out some tasks to the people that you can rely on so that you can give yourself a break and go through some healing because I really feel like, man, with this in your environment, there's a lot going on, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's just, it's so overwhelming there's a need here for you to say, yes, no, I need you to do this. Please help me out, right? I mean, and that can be with having to deal with work. It can be at home. It can be with dealing with children, whatever the situation is here. I just feel like it's important for you to let go of control, too. Like, Taurus, you know what I'm talking about. Right? I know. I know because I have it in my rising. It's so difficult sometimes. There's a need for you to let go of control so that you don't feel so overwhelmed by all this beautiful stuff that's going on. And then you have that, like, hiccup in the road here with the Page of Swords, right? Just don't get overwhelmed by it. But I think you pull out perfectly with the Empress and then seeing the Six of Wands. Fantastic. It is a beautiful reading. Definitely give yourself some you time. Even if that means sitting in the bathtub for a couple of hours. Whatever you can do to get some healing, right? Because it's going to be so important when, you know, you're moving forward here. But I, I just, I feel like this week is going to be a breeze for you. You're going to deal with a little bit here and there. But it's really up to you on how much you let yourself get overwhelmed by everything. Again, delegate. That seems to be the big thing here. Believe in yourself and your unique gifts and start sharing them with the world. Because you guys are doing fantastic. Fantastic. Now, when it comes to <laughs> those of you who are single, children affecting your love life, I don't see this as a bad thing. I just think that for some of you that are single, if you have children or if the person you're meeting has children, it's a question of when is the right time to introduce them to this new person, right? I'm not seeing anything negative surrounding this. And it could be for some of you, the other person wants to have kids. Maybe you can't have kids or maybe you don't want to have children or vice versa. Whatever the situation is, children are involved. And then looking at the heart to heart conversations for the couples. It's so important. It's so important. If you're not truthful about the way that you're thinking and the way that you're feeling, how are they ever going to know? Right. My husband always says that I'm not a psychic. You have to tell me. You have to tell me what you want me to know. <laughs> so very important to have those conversations with your partner. But overall, Taurus, you're going to have a beautiful week. And if you are having babies, congratulations. And that goes for anybody, those of you who are pregnant, if you have friends that are pregnant, or if you're becoming grandparents even, right? I just think children are the big part of your reading this week. But I love it, Taurus. Give yourself some you time so that you can do some healing and you don't get overwhelmed with little hiccups along the way.